Hi guys. A long time no see. Oh my God. So I've been working a lot. I've been real distracted with life. Life happens. Anyways, I've been working a lot and I realized my last YouTube video that I did on what I make in a week as a server did pretty good and a lot of people had a lot of questions and I kind of wanted to do a video to kind of break everything down a little bit more and kind of give y'all a little more information if that makes sense. A lot of people had a lot of questions so yeah. So in today's video, I am going to be letting you know what I make in a day as a server who works on a Monday night. So I worked last night. I work in a chain restaurant. Let's say it's kind of similar to an Applebee's, but I don't work at Applebee's. I just don't want to give away where I work, you know, because the internet's a weird place and, you know, people weird. But just know I work similar to a chain restaurant. Kind of like an Applebee's, but a little bit nicer. Anyways, I want to let y'all know what I make on a Monday night. I worked 4 to 10 o'clock, and I'm going to let y'all know what each table tipped me. I'm going to break it down. So I'm going to let y'all know what each table tips me, how much the bill was, how many tables I had, and how much I made within the shift. So I worked yesterday, um, 4 to 6, no, 4 to 10, 6 hours. So yeah, I'm going to let you know. So let's just kind of jump right into it because a lot of people had a lot of questions and I wanted to do a more in-depth video. That's why I want to do what I made in a day and let you know what people tip just to kind of give you the gist of it. And just a heads up, it's summertime. Serving slow in summertime. Like no holidays are around. Normally restaurants are popping when holidays are coming up. My hair looks disgusting. That's why I keep touching it. I feel gross. But yeah, I have all my receipts from yesterday. I'm gonna let you know how many tables I have, what people tipped me, how much the check was, and how much I made in total on a Monday night in summertime, which like I said, can be really slow. So let's jump right into it. So I'm folding up the receipts just to make sure no one's information is on here or my work information's on here. So my first table had a $29 check and they tipped me $11 cash. That's pretty good. That's over 20%. So no, that's not. No, that's not. That's not over 20%. I'm not here right now. So that's definitely 20%. That might be over 20%. Anyways, $11 on my first table, which is good. Okay, so my next table, their bill was $40.37. They gave me $3.50 on the credit card, and then they gave me $5 cash. I don't have the cash with me right now because uh, I deposited it in my bank. So I'm just I wrote the cash down just to kind of keep track of everything. So the total that this table tipped me on $40.37 was $8.50. Okay, my next table's bill was $36.94 and they paid cash and let me keep the change. So they let me keep $5.06. Yeah. I know I have a juicy pimple. Don't stare at it, please. Anyways, I know this is so small, but I don't want to give away any information. So next check was $42.12, right? Yeah, $42.12. They gave me cash and they left me a $17.88 tip, which is really good. That's almost 50% love that okay my next table bill was $55.98 they paid with a card but they left me $10 cash so okay my next table's bill was $119.34 and they tipped me $10 that's definitely under 20% but I'm just grateful they tipped with you know um, inflation right now I'm just grateful it's okay okay my next table was so sweet to me their bill was $99.25 and they tipped me $40.75. So they gave me cash, this was their change, and then they told me keep the change, that's why I highlighted it. So I made $40 off of a $99 check. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, my next table's bill is $54.23, and as you can see, they left me $9.04. I have stuff all over my hands because I glued on my eyelashes, so just ignore it. Anyways, my next table's check was $93.63. They left me $15.57 on the card. All right, guys, this table's total was $27.16 and they left me $5 on the card. I have a big juicy bruise on my arm. I'm just not prepared for a video, but it's okay. We're gonna continue. Okay, next table's bill was $44.63 and they left me $7.44. 
Okay, the next check was $30.19 and they left me $10 gratuity on the card. Okay, my next table's bill was $27.19 and they left me $7. My next table's bill was $13.91 and they left me $3, which is over 20%. Look at my dog. Oh my gosh. Okay, my next table's bill was $21.02 and they left me $7.60. Okay, this check was $95.01 and they left me $16 on the card. Right. my next table bill was $20.19 but they didn't tip on the card as you could see they tipped me cash and they tipped me ten dollars my next table's bill was 41 dollars and 10 cents and they tipped me ten dollars my next table's bill was 13 dollars and 66 cents and they left me 275 all right my next table paid cash their bill was 21.83 and they left me five dollars cash like i said i don't have the cash on me to count so because i deposited it already last night so what i did was wrote the cash down so they tell me five dollars and this was my last tip the bill was 1091 they paid cash and they let me keep the change and the change was 909 so i just counted all of my receipts i have 21 receipts so it means i had 21 customers i don't know exactly if that was 21 tables that i had last night because some people split the check on a table so i'm sure it wasn't 21 tables but in total i have 21 receipts so now we're gonna add up and see what my total is from yesterday but like i said yesterday was a monday night it's summertime summertime is really slow for servers because there's no holidays you know um it's just a slow time for servers so I'm gonna go ahead and add everything up. Keep in mind, I work six hours, so let me go ahead and do the math real quick. So I added up my total, and for my six hour shift from four to 10 p.m., I made $217.18. That's so good, and so what I did was I divided 217.18 divided by six, and that's like making $36 an hour. And I do have my day in the free time. So from early morning to 4 p.m., I could go to the gym. I could do what I need to do. I can study. Like I said, I'm in school. So it gives me time to still have time for myself. And then I go to my shift and I make good money. This is perfect if you're in school or if you need a job in general. I always say this, like, that's like making $36 an hour. That's doctor pay. But don't think every day is like this. Like you can have a really bad day. When a day is bad for servers, it's really bad and you don't get paid hourly, you go based on tips. And yeah, some days could be bad. Like some days you can make, you could walk out with $50. But like I said, yesterday was a good day and I made two, 17, 18 and six hours, which is really good. And it wasn't too busy to the point where I was stressed out. It was like just a steady day. But like I said, it's really good money when you have a good day. But like I said, every day is not a good day and you do not get paid by the hour. You get $2.17 an hour. No, you get $2.13 an hour. My bad. You get $2.13 an hour. But that usually gets taxed out and you don't get that. So you go ba based off tips. And yesterday, it seemed like everybody tipped. Not everyone tips. People in my state aren't required to tip. And we don't do included gratuity. Gratuity is tips. We don't do included gratuity. Like you have the option to tip and not everyone tips you know not everyone does but yesterday it seemed like everyone tipped and a lot of people tipped over 20 percent, which is really good really good so that's probably why it added up to over 200 dollars. but it was a really good day for me definitely for a monday in summertime like yeah and it really wasn't that busy so it adds up it's a good job you know I get to enjoy my day and then I go to work at night and I make pretty good money. So, but like I said, not every day is like that. I really want to say that not every restaurant's like that and not every day is like that. So, and normally when you have a good serving day, the next day, it's probably not a good serving day. You know, when it's busy, normally it's not going to be busy the next day, but, but you never know. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know. I, I've been seeing these videos on TikTok where people do the videos like and let you know how much they make. Like that's my for you page right now. It's what servers make, probably because I'm a server. And yeah, I just wanted to do this. Definitely since my last video, I had a lot of questions about, you know, serving, the serving life. Yeah, I really wanted to go in depth for y'all and let you know like, what it's actually like like getting the receipt and letting you know each tip 
receipt by receipt, table by table, and how many tables you have, how many hours you work, and you know, I just wanted to go get a little more in depth because my last video, I, I did have a lot of questions and I thought this would help because I didn't see videos like this whenever I first started serving a while back. So I think this would help a lot of people. So if you have any more questions, you just let me know. <laughs> I know it's been a while, <laughs> but yeah, if you have any more questions, just comment down below and I'll try to answer as much as I can. But I hope this video helped help someone out. I'm going to go. I got a shift tonight. I got to get ready.